Okay, got to go to Texas Beer Company. Uh, it's real awesome. But before I get there, I'm gonna start here. Uh, one beer that definitely helped me expand on IPA is Spindle Tap Brewery. And this is their Houston Haze. It's a hazy, which is basically unfiltered. Um, when you get like juicy and all that, it covers like a little bit of the fruitness. So like the flavor profile has basically got nicknames. So this is a hazy, this is a super hazy. A lot of them, they're so full bodied and sit for a while that a lot of the hoppiness kind of mellows out, but other flavors submerge from it on top of the grains and the body and all that. So this is definitely one that they had it for a while, could never keep up with demand, finally started selling cans at the uh, filled up with the brewery, and now they have it sitting on shelves. So they have tall boy ones, a little more expensive, 16 ounce, uh, comes in a four pack and this was a six pack for $13 roughly. Definitely worth it, a lot of ingredients, a lot of flavor and you will see that and feel that and understand that in a minute. So, let's see. This is it right here. So I got Eighth Wonder. They got some beers I'm got my eyes on. I'm trying to keep up people. Oh, look at this. So, you're definitely gonna see that cloudiness come into the pour. See, even when you're pouring it, it looks cloudy. Oh, it's gonna be hard because it's gonna make a lot of, yeah. So you see a crazy milky opal with, you know, just this whole texture going on. So those are the particles that got away from the hops and stayed in the beer. And they just kept it in there. Just kept it in there. Didn't even hesitate. You can clearly see, not clearly, but you can see all that milkiness, the cloudiness, the goldenness. It's gorgeous. The aroma. So... The barley and the grains, I think it is, are from the hops. I don't know. I'm getting like a buttery feel that coats my tongue in a pleasant way. Let's see my girlfriend. Her hand, let's see if she likes this. We'll give her the first sip. Because she does not like IPAs, but if it has the right kind of consistency with the flavor, where it's not too bitter on citrus notes or grassy, she loves it. Nope. Oh, too strong. <coughs> <laughs> it's very fruity, so this would be a juicy hazy, basically. No, this is exactly how I remember. There's light bitterness. Get that buttery film, a little floral, a little fruit, you know, like 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 you just bit into an orange or something, but without the super citrusiness, maybe a mango or something. But it doesn't have that flavor. It just has a fruit-like flavor with the floral aroma. And with all these particles in here, it's just like, if you like milk, I guess, or something close to almond milk, anything like that, so that it doesn't have a thick, uh, uh, like, connective so the proteins, when they connect, you can feel it sliding on your tongue. This doesn't. It's like butter touched your tongue and then it went away. And it just keeps touching it and going away. And I love it. So while they still got it out there, any IPA lovers, anybody that wants to be an IPA lover, Spindle Tap, do it. It's, I don't know if it's seasonal. It's going to be continuous now. I'm going to do my best to keep up on the information. Uh, the, 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 the whole concept is based on the oil boom in Texas. <laughs> They have a few other ones. Um, they're all by Spindle Tap. Uh, I don't have them all memorized. I did a minute ago, like Hop Gusher, things like that. You'll see them. They'll always have the little oil um, tap picture, but this symbol right here, the shield, will always be different than the colors. will be you got green, uh, Boomtown Blonde's another one. That one's blue. Hop Gusher's green. And so you'll get you their, their flow of design. So personally, it's a favorite. I Two thumbs up. Go for it. Pros on that one.